my heart and soul in this game. I'm feeling drained, unappreciated, unalleviated. Tired of coming up short with my whole name spelt out. My old pain spilt out. No pain, no gain. I blow brains, cocaine. Throw flames, blue cane. The coach ain't help out, so I call my own shots. I'm David Blaine. I'm breaking out of my own box. You stay the same. But homie, if you change, make family it is your boy Diamond McAllister again I know you guys the bike is still outside right now um I was just talking to what you call it one of the family members I was just talking to um freaking Justin I was just talking to Justin um and he was like yo bro the the clutch is the clutch and then some other people that I called from different dirt bike shops I told them the story of what happened at the track and everything like I was really hammering the freaking bike like I had it in all gears just going like wide open for a little bit and then I got I let off and after that I went home and it started to act worse over here like it wasn't doing nothing when I was coming back home but once I got like on my street and around my block then it was just acting crazy man like, I didn't even come straight to my house. I was just riding around for at least, like, 30 more minutes. Then the chain fell off. The first time the chain fell off yesterday. That's the first time it ever fell off. So, to make a long story short, my, I text my brother because I'm not trying to spend money my own self. <laughs> and since my brother has money, I'm, I'm going to try to get his money. <laughs> you may seem that, like, you might say, oh, crap, that I got skills. Or, you freaking selfish kid. <laughs> um... I just messaged him about an hour ago, and I told him, do I have woodpeckers over here? Because I did see a freaking woodpecker about four hours ago out here. And I left the bike out here that long, just sitting on this thing um, with the, the freaking crank, crankcase whale over there still. Everything's still where I put it at. But um, anyways, um, make a long story short. So I texted my brother, and I told him what happened what happened at the track and everything he was like oh yeah i've been over there before you can't be riding these types of bikes over there because they're not good um for the bike because the, it, it's not good for any dirt bike really even if it's a name brand one that's what he was telling me um because he used to ride on four wheelers over there so he knows that it's not really in dirt bikes he knows all the like trails and everything and how to ride over there but he only rode four wheelers more than dirt bikes. He don't really like dirt bike. The first time he got on my bike is when I had the smaller tires. And I still had those freaking tires. So make a long story short, I messaged him about an hour ago. Or, yeah, about an hour and 30 minutes ago. And I was like, yo, bro, um, can you help me get another bike? I almost blew up my engine on my bike. And I just explained to him how I was running. Like, I couldn't slow down at the stop, the um, red light and stuff. Like, I literally couldn't slow down at all. Like, the bike kept moving. Like, y'all think I'm playing. The bike kept moving. Like, I was giving it gas. Like, it was moving. And I had to shut it off. And then I called. I called my, um. Well, I didn't really call nobody. Let me stop lying. I, I, I didn't really shut it off. Like, I did shut it off because I was kind of scared. And I was coming to a red light. And the bike was still moving. Like, it was actually moving. Like I was at least doing 40 and I tried to decelerate and, and pulled in the clutch. The story from yesterday, what I was telling you guys, um, pulled in the freaking clutch, thought I was slowing down. <laughs> I got psyched. The bike kept moving. So make a long story short, I messaged my brother and asked him, can I get another bike? And he was like, yeah, bro, you got to be careful with these bikes, man. You keep blowing them up. So I'm like, man, this is the only bike that I messed up. And it's not even messed up. It's the freaking clutch burned out. That's the only thing. But in that sand, I see what they're talking about now. That sand is not its not made for dirt bikes. It's made for more of four-wheelers and name brand stuff. This is this is my kind of name brand bike. <laughs> with the CRF pipe still sitting over there, lonely. With my other pipe, my other muffler right there. And the other muffler that came with it is on the bike right now. I think I'm going to take that little muffler off and throw the other one on, the stock one. Um... But I was telling him that I may end up selling it or I may just end up keeping it. I think I'm going to sell that. I'm, I'm not going to sell it. I think I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it. And the bike that I'm going to get most likely is probably the RFZ 125, the DB18. Um, or if I don't get that, then I'm going to get the KLX. I don't know. I'm not sure yet because I didn't call the pawn shop about the KLX. He says that I need to get a brand new bike instead of getting a used bike. I know, I know this is what y'all go say. 
that bro you should get the klx but i don't know who's owned that bike before me just like this bike the clutch burnt out and it's i've been riding the bike for at least like i'll say uh, i want to say four months straight but i got the bike about four months ago and when i got it it wasn't running i had to make it run and that took about a good two weeks so i'll say about uh three months and something some three months and some time i've been riding the bike um so yeah probably three months and i'll say three weeks three months three weeks something like that three months two weeks i've been riding a bike and it's been great but i think it's that sand that's burned out my freaking clutch but it's all good it's all right it's all right so it's so funny because how does this thing even work? Like, how does this freaking clutch even compress and freaking de like decompress and slow, like put the bike in neutral when you pull in the, the engine? I never like understood that with these engines. Like, like I know how to take them apart and put them back together and all that stuff. My first engine that I took apart was my 65, my KX65. I didn't know what the crap I was doing. I was just taking out parts and putting them right back together. The thing fired right back up. Still never hit power, power band. And if I would have had it right now, I would definitely be making videos on it. But it's gone. Um, can't do nothing about that. Just like my other bike. So I'm going to keep this for my little brothers. I'm going to buy that, that clutch and throw it on there. Or take it to the shop and let them throw it on there for me. And um, that's just going to be it. There is woodpeckers over here. But I can't see them. I can hear them. There's like, I think there's just one, but I can hear it. And I think there's a nest in my tree. Oh, it's right there. It's eating. Y'all can't see it though. It's, it's right over there. It's right there. You see it? You see it like moving right there? The little thing. That, that's a bird right there. You see it right there? But um yeah, so I'm gonna get the either the KLX, I'm not sure, but like I was just saying, my brother is saying um I should get a brand new bike. Even though it's a Chinese bike, it's the 2017 update. This bike is 2014, I believe. And it's been running since. So well it ain't running right now, but it, it's still running if I put the oil in and everything back in. So here's the oil. Let me show you guys everything. Just the freaking oil. Justin was telling me, oh man. Um, don't use cheap oil and I have been using cheap oil with this bike <laughs> Which I should have never ever did so I was using this oil right here. I used to use a uh, I used to use the 4v y'all probably never heard of 4v But that's like the the racing track oil that if y'all don't know about 4v then it's all cool. It's it's just like the um Freak I forgot all the other oil names it's it's not Yamalube, but it's something like it. It's something just like Yamalube, but Yamalube, y'all know Yama, y'all should know Yamalube. Yamalube, Yamalube, Yamalube is. If you don't know, then it's a type of oil. Um, so it's something just like that, but it's for four strokes. Um, the four V. That's what I was telling um Justin just about a good two hours ago. Um, that I'm gonna put in the bike from now on for my little brothers to learn how to ride. Well, my my others, my oldest, smallest brother, if you know what I'm trying to say, my oldest, smallest brother, he already knows how to ride a little bit, but he doesn't know how to control the clutch. So that's that's what I have to teach them. And there's no fields over here. The only if I I am definitely gonna get that other bike, cause I'm definitely gonna fit to get that other bike. So I need to put up these tools and everything. I was coming back out here to make some steel supports, but I said, freak, man, I forgot. I can't do it because I need the um, a welder. And I was like, God dang, man. So once I get my other bike, then I'll get this bike straight, too. I know you'll probably be like, man, get it straight right now so your brothers can ride and everything with you. But remember, they have to learn. So I am going to get this bike um, re-welded everywhere where I think it will snap because I don't want this that's the worst thing to happen to you. If you're riding on a bike and you don't know how secure it is and it just snaps um, anywhere, the engine broke, snaps. That's what I was kind of scared about. I should have known not to take the bike out there. I think I would have came out a lot better without taking it out there. But I rode six miles to get there and six miles to come back. So put some miles on the bike, man.
put some miles on the bike and I was riding there for at least like an hour and a half two hours um and then I left because I, I freaking got mad that the bike wasn't doing what it was supposed to do uh, I can't get real mad at it though it's a Chinese bike so I mean any bike my bike was really like digging and throwing dirt like a freaking 450 like it was really literally throwing dirt like a 450 if i would have had my my chip inside of there then i would have recorded it but it was freaking i forgot to bring it so i i was i had it wide open like i was just saying i had it wide open for about 30 seconds in each gear trying to get up out of that sand because the sand was about seven inches deep like the sand was about this deep like how can i go so i don't have let's see if we could get it from this side so this 14 inch tire, the sand was about half of my tire. That's how deep it was. I'm surprised it didn't get on the chain or the um, the sprocket. It probably came off when I was out. It threw all of that sand and everything up, but it was about half of this tire, half the size of that 14 inch tire, which was crazy, but that's how loose the sand was. And I was over there trying to hurry up and get back off, like get out and just ride on the concrete. I didn't think it was like that. So these bikes, most dirt bikes, you're not going to ride in sand with a dirt bike that I know about, at least. Unless you have a real powerful dirt bike. But these ruts and everything that they ride on and everything, it just throws the bike, especially through my bike yesterday. So um, to make a long story short, I'm going to put that, that um, right cover back on. Since I can't do nothing, I'm going to put it back on. And um, I was going to leave it off until I got my clutch. But I'm gonna throw it back on there. I'm not gonna put it too tight. I'm gonna just throw it on there and then put the bolts in so I can take them back off when I need to take them off without struggling to take them off. I'm not gonna put oil. I, sh I think I should put oil and then kick it over a couple times. Not to crank it up, but just to get the oil back in there because I did drain it out. And I wanna make sure nothing, no water, anything gets in there or it locks up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Thank you, family, for watching this video. Uh, sorry that I just that I just just posted a video that I was supposed to post about four hours ago when I was talking to Justin But it's all good. It's all good So um, thank you family for watching this video again. Oh, what do you guys think I should do with these tires? Like should I take these these big tires off and put my other small tires back on here for my little brothers? Or should I just leave these tires on here like I got it already y'all see I'm y'all see y'all um Tell me what I should do um with this with these tires because i think i am gonna leave it on there since they've been working okay but they're still freaking stupid like they act so stupid um but they'll get used to them especially when they go to the trails or to a little park or something well one of them go with me um or just rip up and down the street a couple times <laughs> peace family I'm on my night job, y'all niggas job and I'm back up in position. Uh -huh.